Okay, this is David at Barnyard Bees. I got my new phone. I'm trying to do some videos on it, see how well they turn out. I think it's a much better than my last phone I had. This should take really good videos for YouTube. Uh, just out here in the bee yard this morning. And I'm going through and putting dry sugar in. Cats are helping. And these are the feeders I had a video on this summer. They're called a rapid feeder. And you put liquid sugar in it, two to one, one to one, however you mix it. And you fill it up with sugar water and the bees will climb up this ladder right here. It's like a rigid, you can hear it. And it comes up and it's rigid on this side, they climb up. You can see the bees down in, in there. Trying to come up. And you put liquid in there and of course they climb up like, like they're doing there now. And they'll eat that liquid food, or sugar water. But what you do in the winter time, when you're trying to avoid getting moisture in your hive, you take dry sugar. Just fill this up, it holds about a bag, about a four pound bag. A little bit will spill down inside the hive, it won't hurt a bit. It'll just attract them to come up to the, to the sugar. And I just leave it mounted up like that. And you, you keep this part pulled out. You're, and you just put your lid back on like this. And what will happen as those bees, as, as the moisture builds up in the hive, it'll co come up and it'll condensate on, on this lid and drip down into the sugar water. And it does two purposes. It, it actually helps absorb the moisture in the hive. And as it wets the sugar, it'll become hard and it's it's like same as a like these sugar cakes they make for bees or whatever they call them candy cakes candy boards candy boards and it works really well that'll feed them for a long time you got i always try to keep something in the hive so this one's heavy it's pretty heavy so it's got i know it's got honey in it but i don't know once they're out that they'll have this and it's right in the center of the hive, which helps too. So, I'm going to put that back on. Put my lid back. And I just had done that yard up there. It's, it's done, so I'm working down here. So, some of these still have liquid sugar water in them and they're slow to drink it uh, a lot of these hives still have a lot of honey in them but as they as that sugar water disappears i'll put uh more dry sugar in it's uh today's november 29th you can see the the bees are out a little bit they're starting to come out you can tell these are these are gentle bees. I guarantee, if you have a cat or a dog, they won't be this comfortable around your bees. These cats do this all the time. I have a few cats and dogs, and and they come right up to the hives because they have no fear of them because they just don't get stung. They're good bees. Good genetics in these barnyard bees. Just want to do a little update on that rapid feeder. It's a really good feeder. It's the best I've seen. It's it's an all-around feeder. It's it feeds in the spring, summer, and winter. There's not many that feeds in the winter time. It does a really good job. We sell them here at Barnyard Bees. Check us out. www.barnyardbees.com. Thanks for watching.